welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be installing a layer fan on the tarantula. So, uh, we got this off Thingiverse, and the idea is what happens is it mounts in front of the stock fan, as you can sort of see it like this, and then a second 30 millimeter fan mounts onto it like this onto there. So, it basically doubles up the fan and the air for the cooling fan comes in through the sides and the top while the output for the layer fan comes out here and obviously comes in here. So I printed this on, out of ABS on my Wanhao and uh, the, the side struts here as you see on the top are, were pretty weak. When I was cleaning out some of the support materials they just broke out so I just kind of cleaned this out it's, and then and filed it down uh, flush. So be be probably forewarned a little bit that these likely won't stay in there. So uh, anyways, not not a big deal. The top did stay, and so uh, aesthetically I think it looks fine. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on there. Now what I did when I built the tarantula, I, I pre-ran because down in the bottom of the controller. There's two lugs for a fan. Now, keep in mind that the fan is polarity sensitive. And I ran a separate wire uh, through all the wiring mess, so I'd have the wire over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to solder all this in here and then pull the wire back up inside of here so you'll just see the red and black wire sticking out. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of heat shrink tubing to, to cover that up and that. However, one of the things you will need is some M3 bolts, four of them, and they're going to need to be about 45 millimeters long to pass through both fans and this assembly into the heatsink. So I did have to order these because I'm, ironically I only have one in my collection. So uh, I bought a pack of them. Uh, I'll put the link down below for this, uh, the fan and the, the um, uh, the uh, Thingiverse file for this. If you're interested, you can pick these up. Um, so anyways, uh, tell you what, let's go ahead. I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse of me assembling this. Uh, I'm going to solder all this together and hook it all up. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at when it's finished. Okay, welcome back. So we've uh, now replaced this. I'll do some overlays with this. However, this came out really nice. I, I'm impressed with how this works. So, um, again, you saw the time lapse of it being assembled. It didn't take me much more than maybe 10 minutes tops. Again, to solder the wires in, heat shrink the tubes, and put all this together. Now, remember, one thing to remember, this is polarity sensitive, so you have to make sure you hook it to the right right poles down on the thing, or the, the lugs down here. So, again, I've looped it up through here, and as you can see, I've now pulled it through. So, all nice and clean. I've matched the fan outputs over here on this side. I think you can maybe see that. So, this is kind of unified. looks very nice. So, uh, again, very happy with this, this uh, addition. And I think, you know, I've done, you know, several pieces on here, and I can definitely see where it's going to benefit from a layer fan for cooling on the PLA. So, uh, again, pretty happy with it. Again, we're going to be doing a few more modifications to this actually quite a bit, you know, because you can still see how wiggly that is. So that's on my list to, to fix. Uh, outside of that, really enjoying the tarantula. So it's been a fun printer to build and a fun printer to use. Um, opportunity for a lot of mods. In the future I am going to be doing um, a replacement of this hot end with the uh, E3D V5 and, and probably I'll do a very similar, I'll, I might even use the same adapter because it's got a 30, millim 30 millimeter uh, cooling fan on it also so I can probably just re-add this, I don't know, we'll have to see. If not I'll remix something uh, to do that because there's a lot of uh, E3D uh, fan adapters on there so I may just take this and graft it, but we'll see. So just kind of thinking aloud. So 
Uh, because the other thing I'm going to do is um, see about getting a longer uh, Y axis for it, uh, so I can get a, so I can install a longer bed, kind of as I've been rambling for a while, getting it out to about 12 inches uh, build area. Because I want to be able to print stuff that's roughly, you know, at least 12 inches long. So, anyways, hopefully you found this build interesting. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. I'll put all the links below to the bolts, the fans, the Thingiverse pieces. So if you got a tarantula, you want to do this, you can find it all real easy. Uh, also, don't forget to visit our site, um, www.diy3dtech.com, for a lot more information on this and many other builds. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. Cheers. Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.